It is no secret that UW-Madison likes to have fun. But a new survey suggests when it comes to drinking, some students feel like it's hurting their college experience. News 3's Valina Jones explains. You don't have to walk too far to find a bar on State Street. It's part of the embrace drinking culture on campus. But a new study shows when people have had one too many, it's students of color who are most impacted. If you don't choose to drink, if you don't go out, if you don't go to parties, if you don't host parties, like what? You're not truly a Wisconsin student if you don't really do any of those things. It's a feeling of drink or get out that students of color like Marlo Reeves say they feel on campus. It's changed. Again, like how I see fun, how I see other people, how I see my relationships that I have with other people. But it's not just the pressure of fitting in. Out of the 4,500 students that took the survey, more than half say regardless if they participate, the alcohol culture on campus has negatively affected their college experience. There have been times where my friends have had things thrown at them from people's porches. There are times where my friends have been called the N-word from other people's porches just by walking down East Washington. Um, and it's, it's not something that you want to relive or experience, so you, you have to change how you, <laughs> I guess, how you interact with the, with the environment. Our alcohol culture is also impacting or part of our campus climate and that we need to be addressing both and not just one or the other. It's those actions of racial bias that they say are directly connected to drinking on campus. In the first six months, the university has recorded 66 incidents of bias. That's triple the numbers they saw last year this time. We found that students of color, and these were through multiple surveys, so it's not just this one, tend to be non-drinkers or low-risk drinkers. So they're doing the good things that you want them to be doing with alcohol. But our campus sort of punishes them for doing those things. Prompting students of color to avoid areas like State and Langdon Street and events like Freak Fest where they know drinking will occur. It hits you in a way where you, you, can't, you can't let it go just in that moment. It, it comes with you to class. It comes with you when you're in your dorm. It comes with you when you're grocery shopping, right? Like it's, they start to build up. That was Belina Jones reporting for us. Washington plans to conduct another survey in the coming months that will include all races on campus to get an overview of the drinking culture there. And recommendations of this first report are underway, including responsible drinking education and encouraging bystanders to intervene when they encounter incidents of bias, drunkenness, or sexual assault.